What's up guys? It's me who procrastinates so much that I've been sitting here trying to start doing this video for like two hours and I can't I just couldn't bring myself to click record. What's going on with me? I'm excited to watch One Piece. Why don't I just do it? We got three episodes we're doing today. Episode 360, 361 and 362. Um, I'm so keen to jump into it. Um, is there anything particular that I want to say? No, last episode I remember we had like Sanji was... Uh, fighting with Absalom and uh, beat him. We're not doing any more discussions about Sanji, don't worry. Um, and then we uh, have, uh, I remember, what's his name? Usopp, that guy. Um, he was chasing after Perina and uh, then she started flying. We got lots of stuff to, to cover, but like last episode, as I said, I really like all of the confrontations that are happening right now. What, like, if. No, pretty much no matter what the episode starts on, I think I'll be happy. Except maybe if it's just focusing more on ores. I think ores right now isn't really doing anything super interesting, so I don't care as much. But, I, I, but you know, you could prove me wrong, so let's see. Let's jump into this. Episode 360, make sure to support the channel if you can. Liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm a small channel, um, and you guys have supported me so well. I really, really appreciate it. Keep it up, please. Keep those comments coming. I love reading them. Uh, keep liking the videos and uh, telling other people about these videos if you can. Because it does genuinely help me a lot. And um, if you want to support me even more and get more content for yourself, that'll be on my Patreon account in the description below. It has the full length reactions. You can watch the entire episodes with me, sync it up with your own footage. Early access. Um, there's exclusive videos on there for both this channel and my Gent Watches uh, regular channel, my Gent Watches main channel. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on there like there's it, an insane amount of content on there i know like not all of it is stuff you're interested in but there's so much content so seriously it's absolutely worth going over there and checking it out but anyway let's jump into episode 360 of one piece one piece Woo! life is adventurous be away it's dangerous who's gonna be one of us gotta find my way to sail away all the way to one piece Recap Rubik's. If you're new to this channel, this is a Rubik's Cube that I do during the recap. And the goal is to beat the recap. I try to solve the cube before the recap's over. Why do you do that, Gent? You might be asking. Well, what the fuck else am I gonna do? Watch the recap? No. Okay, that's the first cube done. Second cube. Okay, that's how far I got in the second cube. Okay. Not a two cube cap. Okay, where are we starting? Oh, okay, starting with the Luffy fight? Okay. I love this music, man. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Luffy already seems pretty beat up and the battle just started. Oh, I love Fingernet. Cool. Okay, back to Paranoia Usopp. You're a sniper, Usopp. She's just gone into, you know, a domain that you can take out. Okay. Oh, I was about to do the recap Rubik's. But she's narrating over it, so it's gonna stop. There you go. That's <laughs> so cute. I like that she, she's like, oh, you're immune to it because you're sad. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is awesome. Awesome. She's gone. You spent too long explaining it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Is that like a ghost form of her somehow? 
She can go invisible and she can grow. I feel like that's got to be an illusion. No. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh shit. Oh no, she's going through him. If your arms go through her, how can you hug her? <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't quite stabbing. No. She can grab your heart. Oh, that is actually what's going to happen. Oh my god. How do I feel about that? That's horrifying and... Also, I feel weird. <laughs> is this just another trick to break his spirit? Oh! <laughs> mm. Damn, that would have been so scary though. That's crazy. <laughs> but how does she fly and grow? She's like um Mirio from My Hero. We know how strong he is. Oh my god! Hmm. Maybe? Look at her face in that like long shot. Ghost rap? Whoa! Why is it called ghost rap? Is it because it sounds like ghost trap? But why wouldn't you just call it ghost trap then? Uh oh! Oh! Ow! She's insanely strong. What would what would salt do to her if you shot salt at her? Would it do anything? <laughs> oh my god. She's such a distraction. She would distract me so bad. Oh my god, no! If they all blow up on him. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god, Usopp. So what's the point of Kamasi coming right now? What's he gonna do? She probably is physically, but has a better power. Stronger than a real bear, really. Oh! Yeah, I guess that makes sense. A real bear doesn't break the ground like that. <laughs> oh, that's true. You felt good about the fact that you were useful in this fight. Oh my god, Kumasi. Oh. It's okay, you got this, you can do something! To bear? I get it. Oh. What? Why do we just see... Soge King! Hell yeah! Oh, this is awesome! Oh. Yeah, well, you treated him wrong. <laughs> I love the voice he does for Soge King as well. <laughs> so are the lyrics different for this song as well? It looks like they were different, based on this scene. <laughs> oh, 
So the real her is somewhere around, maybe? And this is just a negative hollow that looks like her? Holy shit! Come on, who's up? So she might, might be around here somewhere, the real her. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, is that particularly hidden, that door? <laughs> She's panicking, which means it's probably right. Oh, shit. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, the cutie herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, but she's like slumped over. Does that mean she's like focused on controlling it? Like she's possessing the ghost? Interesting. Loved it. Loved that episode. I, I like, I like Usopp fights when they're done well, and I like Perina a lot. So this is just that was just a great episode to me. Um. Yeah, I that that's really cool. So, um so first we got like at the start of the episode, we got like an explanation of his Kabuto uh weapon and I really liked the way they edited that explanation. Like it was, I don't know exactly what it's invoking, but there's like a certain style of show or video or whatever that he's explaining it like and they're showing it off and it just it it makes like it just feels really cool when things are explained that way you know um with like visuals like that um it's like a well done science like show or youtube channel you know when there's those like science shows that are actually good because they're like engaging you both verbally and visually with like you know high energy um like that's sort of what it felt like to me and i really liked it um so uh, it seems like, okay, Perrin's powers, I didn't write down, like, that I was gonna, like, start predicting Perrin's powers, but it seems like we, like, it seems like we kind of got it here. So she, like, controls ghosts and stuff. So essentially, it sounds like she controlled a ghost to look and act and sound like her. Um, and then, uh, and then she basically, like, pretended the ghost was her. She did a good job, honestly, bluffing, saying, like, well... My, my body can pass through everything. Like, saying that as if that was her actual power. Um, because that's a good bluff. It, it, it would really trick a lot of people, I think. Because they're like, shit, I can't beat that. That's impossible to beat. But, um, but that's not her power. And so I think that's, that's very cool. Like, I thought maybe last episode she was standing on two ghosts somehow. But no, she actually, that was just a ghost. Um, so that was nice. That was a, a good way to do that. Um, honestly, she, I think she kind of fucked herself doing that though. Like maybe like the bits where she was like growing her body and maybe the bits where she was, um, flying around a lot and stuff. Like maybe she shouldn't have done that stuff as much because it gave away that she was a ghost. Like, I mean, I loved when she was a, when she was gigantic. I, 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 I love girls when they're, you know, 50 times bigger than me, but I think it gave away that she was a ghost too much. <laughs> um, I, I like it, it, she shouldn't have, she should have made it like just believable enough that somehow her body was doing it so that people didn't, so that Usopp didn't start questioning like how it all worked and stuff. Cause once you start dropping too many hints, then, uh, then that's, that ain't good. Um, but I really liked her, like, bluff of, like, I'm gonna crush your heart. Like, that scene was intense and scary. And, like, my heart was racing and I was in love a little bit. Like, the, there was some some part of me that was like, yeah, I kind of do want you to crush my heart. But I don't know what that part of me was. It's a it's a problematic part of myself. But it the rest of me was, like, terrified. Because that's, that's a really scary thing. Like, someone, like who has their hands around your heart and is threatening to, and is just about to crush it. Like, no matter what, you're gonna be fucking freaking out. Cause you don't know, I don't know what that, 
is gonna feel like and that oh, oh i can't even th talk about it anymore it's scary <laughs> um genuinely a scary scene but um but i mean the best thing in this episode other than everything perona did was um was usopp like lying there being like fuck what am i gonna do i'm freaking out i'm scared like i was so excited because i was gonna be the the only one to be able to beat her and now i feel pathetic and stuff but then being like so gay king what would you do and that's awesome so he's he uses so gay king like it's cool to see that he's probably still gonna bring back so gay king um here and there because he uses Soge King as inspiration. Soge King is the sort of person that he wants to be. It's his inspiration. It's this like idealized version of himself. And he's basically like looking at this idealized version of himself and going like, what would this version of myself do? I'm going to follow that. It's actually really good. Like I think it's, you know, it's funny and silly, but that's actually a good technique to use in life as well. Sometimes I do think to myself like, look, I want to be... I want to improve as a person. I want to be a good person. And if, like, there are certain times when I stop and go, like, if I'm just, like, writing a character who's a really good person, what would that character do in this situation? And then I try to do that. Because sometimes what's stopping me is these automatic walls in my head of, like, um, you know, I don't know, pride or, like, it doesn't feel natural or I might be, you know, feeling like someone else. That you can... You can move past those walls if you acknowledge them. And so sometimes I will just be like, what does a good person do here? I'm going to try to do that. And I do it. And it tends to work out well <laughs> when I do do that. I don't do it all the time. And it's really hard to, for to tell myself to do that. Um, but when I do, it generally has positive outcomes. So I like that Usopp's doing that here. It's really cool. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next episode since I can't wait. Episode 361. Like this adventurous. Be aware it's dangerous. Who's gonna be one of us? To the west, to the east. Gotta find my way to say it away all the way to one piece. Okay, recap Rubik's. <laughs> And that is the cube done. Right before the title. Wait. Right before the title. There we go. Woohoo! Okay, Perina. Usopp's gonna kill you now. He's going to murder you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna do about it, Usopp? Do something. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know if that makes much of a difference. You just stay as a ghost, maybe? <laughs> oh, shit! What? Miss? How does he miss? This is Usopp we're talking about. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now she's back in her normal body. Shit. Usopp lost his advantage. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I wonder what that tastes like. Looks like it tastes like licorice, which I would love. Or, as I imagine. Yeah. He's talking about oars. Uh, 
<laughs> ha! Oh, there's your hat, right. <laughs> okay. Forgot this battle was going on, but I'm curious about it. Looks like Nico Robin was struggling. More hands, Nico! More hands! You can spawn more than eight. Oh my god! Ah! We haven't seen someone do that to Nico before. Oh, we've seen this part of Nico before, though. Why did she have to fall like that? <laughs> okay. Oh! Damn, Chopper, you can't be in this form while fighting. Switch forms, quick. Eat seven rumble balls right now. God damn. Nice. Nice. Quick. He's got a chip tooth. You can put it through the hole in the teeth. Go, quick. She's doing it too slowly. It's not going to work, clearly. Oh, that's true. Oh no, he forgot Sanji's personality. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, looks like it's starting to hit oars as well. Yeah, he's forgetting the Luffy personality. But Moria. Moria's got a weird silhouette. <laughs> oh no, okay. He's actually a problem now. I, like, I actually like them lining that up with us finding out that the Sanji one isn't like Sanji anymore. <laughs> Back to the Perrin fight. Very close. Why did he miss that shot? Was there a reason? Or was he just nervous? Because I feel like Gustav doesn't miss very often. Oh! 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 Did he use a dial? He did! Fucking awesome, Usopp! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, and that's what he shot before! <laughs> oh! I knew Usopp doesn't just miss for no reason. <laughs> What? Oh no. Purify this guy real quick. Gentleman Hippopotamus. Oh yeah! <laughs> that face! That's great. Oh yeah, that's right. It actually has a lot of recoil, right? Oh my god. Usopp scary to her. Oh my god. It's like a cannonball. But it also could just be a balloon knowing Usopp. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's the worst thing he's got in his repertoire. Oh, I hate that. I'd rather he kill me with a cannonball. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I don't want to look at the screen. Oh, she's calling for Kumasi. <laughs> but that's actually really sad. Oh my god, a 10 ton hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just going to make her pass out with fear? From fear? 
<laughs> and he, is he like pretending it to, it to be really heavy? <laughs> I actually feel really bad for her. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a nightmare. Aww. <laughs> I really like that. It just pops on her. Oh. Did she pass out? Uso. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're toys? Oh, okay. Still disgusting, but less disgusting. <laughs> That's true. It's all his strengths. Wow. Great job, Uso. That was a great battle. I liked that a lot. Oh shit, man. Oh god, did he just beat Zoro? Oh my god. Holy shit, man. He beat Zoro in a duel with swords. Damn. What an awesome episode. Once again. Um, I don't- I wonder if we're gonna continue with that, uh, with, you know, Brooks, um, Ryuma, right? I- I just got that out of my head. I'm- I'm glad. It's sticking in there a little bit with, um, with Ryuma. I wonder if that's gonna be the next episode, is, like, doing more stuff with Ryuma, but he actually seems like a pretty major boss. Um, so I don't know. He could be the last thing we deal with, honestly. But I don't know. Oh, I think a warlord maybe. Higher? I don't know. What would be higher? Someone who can... Who is like a legendary... No, I think actually the... I think I think the order would be... Moria's top, Oz is next, and then Ryuma is just below. But it feels like they're all incredibly strong. Um, I mean, that's a good thing for Brooke to... Like, to for us to know that... This, sorry, my dog's barking. For us to know that Brook, um, Brook's techniques are good enough that, um, you know, that being put into the right body is like this fucking powerful. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign for us if, if and when he joins our crew. Um, so, uh, yeah, I I liked the I like what they what they set up with these things where it's like the zombies will get the personalities of the person whose soul is put in them or whose shadow is put in them right um but over time that will the personality parts will fade away and they'll just be zombies they'll just be slaves basically and i liked that they sort of showed that with a situation where nico robin was about to be able to take out zoro's shadow um and the way to stop it was the little Sanji dog had to kick Robin and he didn't even hesitate he was like she's a lady so what I don't care and just again kicked her and I that's uh that's really a cool way to do that and then to cut to Oz and seeing Oz slowly lose that Luffy will you know that I, I want to be king of the pirates type deal um and like just care about it less and less as he's walking and then turn around and realize that he's a slave to moria so um i just i liked the way they did that it was it was simple it was nice doing it through sanji's um little dog thing was perfect because we know we've we saw in the last thing like sanji refuses to kick women we saw it in i mean we saw it with in this arc with the with the dog before but also in the last arc in CP9 with Khalifa, like he just refuses to do it. So, and like he will, he will lose a battle, um, you know, if, if he needs to. So, um, so I think it's, uh, it was cool to see them utilize that in this way. Um, 
I loved, I loved the Usopp Perona fight. I, like, man, I did because I love Perona so much. Like, she's gonna be. I want to do one of these days, like a ranking list, not a tier list necessarily. I see tier list videos. Um, I don't tend to watch them because I don't like the parts of tier list videos where it's like talking, like trying to decide which ones at F rank or D rank or whatever. Um, I don't I, like, as I've said before, I don't like talking about stuff that I don't like. Um, but uh, what I would like to do at some point is do like a ranking of all the characters where I'm not ranking them F, A, B, C or whatever. I'm just ranking them in comparison to each other. Like which character, is, which characters are my favorite all, all the way down to my least favorite, you know? Um, because I think that's like someone who, who can be my least favorite could still be an A tier character, but it's like everyone else is A tier and S tier. So I don't have to classify them at least. Um, but I would like to do that at some point. I would have to figure out one, when I want to do that, and two, how I would even go about doing that in a convenient way. But it'd be fun to like do a live stream or something where I'm doing that. Um, but um, uh, I was saying that because Perona, I think honestly, will be like up there, uh, high on high on my list. It's funny because I was talking to my friends about this the other day. I like we all know I love women. I tend to like characters. Like, I tend to like female characters that other people find insufferable. Like, and I fall in love with them. I absolutely adore them. It happens so often where I like, I will say, oh, my favorite character is this character. And they're like, oh, she's so annoying. <laughs> like, people do that so often. But I, I'm always like, no, I love her. She's great. Like, I can tell that they're annoying, but it doesn't annoy me at all. It just like, it, it endears me to them. So, and Perrin is one of those characters. I know she's annoying. Like, ha -da 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 -da. like that, that whole thing, I can tell some people that would piss them off. They'd be so annoyed by it. Um, and the way she like, you know, talks so big and then like, f and turns to being so like, oh no, actually don't hurt me, please, please, I'm sorry. Like that would annoy people as well that she's like, you know, that she uh, talks big when she's up and then uh, tries to make you feel bad for her when she's down and stuff. I don't, like, I love all of that. <laughs> I love it so much. And so Perrin is going to be, I think, up there with some of my favorite characters in the series. Like, in the entire series. Um, and this battle, because of that, is, like, one of my favorite, like, of the, you know, the side battles, the crew battles. Like, if we're not including any of the main Luffy versus the main guy, or Zoro versus Hawkeye, I would consider, like, a main you know, main on-screen battle. Like, whatever is the main villain we're supposed to be focusing on or antagonist we're supposed to be focusing on at that time, get rid of all of those battles. Um, then you, you're you left with, uh, like, this Perona one would be near the top of those, I think. Because it's just... It was a lot of fun. It was funny. Um, I, I liked her character. Her power was interesting enough, you know? Um, and it gave Usopp some good moments. I think I always love when Usopp gets good moments as well, because it's a character that if you write Usopp right, it just feels good, you know? Like, he's just a satisfying character to watch. And I really love that I knew Usopp wouldn't have just missed, like, for no reason. I love that no matter what, the thing that's good about Usopp is he's a good shot. And, like... It, there's, I I cannot remember a point in this show where he just like straight up misses his target. Like if he fires at something, I I cannot remember a point, uh, an entire a thing in the entire show where he misses. And I think that's really good for his character because it's like yeah he's got a lot of weaknesses, but the things he's strong at, he's like some of the best in the world at. He's an incredible sharpshooter. And it's showing that, like, we we think for a second, oh, he missed Perina, but then it's like, no, this is Usopp we're talking about. I know he didn't miss. He just must be doing something that I don't get yet. And it's great. I love it. Um, but man, the uh, the cockroach star, I like that's the worst thing you've ever done, Usopp. That's disgusting. <laughs> At least it's a toy co toy co toy cockroach. Oh my god, toy cockroaches. Um. 
thank God it's just them because like that 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 makes it better definitely. Um, but still, like, oh, well, I I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I would much rather he kill me. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's move on to the next and final episode that we're doing in this video. 362 of One Piece. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is adventurous. Be aware it's dangerous. Who's gonna be one of us? To the west, to the east. Gotta find my way. You sail away all the way to One Piece. Recap, Rubik's. Okay, that's cube one done. Cube two. Okay, that's uh, how far I got in this Are we continuing with the Ryuma? Ryuma? I don't need to say the name correctly. I can just say some of the vows. No subtitles on that, but I think it says five minutes ago. That's all I could read. Okay, we're about to see the deal. The duel. I can't speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. He's good at shit talk. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, the sound, the crackling sound. Holy shit, man. Oh! <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Oh, they respect each other a lot, though. <laughs> is that what Zora did? Awesome. うん。あの Oh my god! This is a cool battle! Ooh! Oh, that's sick! Oh no, Zoro, did you get hit? That's so fucking cool! <laughs> this is a cool fucking battle! Oh my god. Oh my god, they're fighting at the top of the spire. Oh my god, these two. Oh shit! Oh, get the momentum. Oh sh Oh my god, they're running to the side. Oh my god. Cool idea for a fight to be fighting on such a slanted rooftop. Mm, yeah, I was thinking that. Mm. Oh! Holy shit. Oh my god! One sword style! <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Oh! Oh shit! 
wound is bursting into flames. Oh my god. That was a crazy battle. Marketa. Oh? You lost. あははなたが主人であるならこの刀も。ワット。初めて見ました。そう。本気じゃなかったんだ。But He's giving him the sword? <laughs> Holy shit! That's true. What did he do? Salt his sword or something? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he got a shadow back! Yes! <laughs> Look, it's copying whatever I do. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Brooke. Hmm. Samurai of the Wano Kingdom. We're gonna get to Wano eventually. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but you can't let them go and, you know, free Perina. What if they wake her up? I really like the bit of him being in a, in a picture frame. That was so funny. <laughs> It's really funny because it, like, if one of them had seen it, they would go, Why is there a picture of this guy's face close up here? Here he is. Oh my gosh. You guys gonna get killed too? Oh my god. Pistol! Oh no, Gatling. Okay. He doesn't want to fight. Yeah, he's too lazy. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, in the hole? Nice. Nice! Aww. He was so close there. Okay. That's fucking awesome. Oh shit! And we're just cutting to the One Piece episode! Cool episode again. I mean, this one had a uh, Ryuma vs Zoro fight. I like that it was a fight that lasted one episode, but it was like an episode full <laughs> of a fight. You know, like the, I mean, it was actually only like really half the episode. Um, but it, there was like that half episode was like, but they weren't talking much. It was like they were purely fucking attacking each other. You know, it was great. It was really cool to see that. Um, I like, I like when One Piece sort of picks up the pace out of nowhere and starts doing some cool shit. Um, like the other stuff in the episode, like they recapped, um, they recapped stuff with oars. Like they didn't really show much else with oars. They, they basically just had the zombies say what we already knew about oars. And then he just continued walking. And then, um, and then we continued the fight with Moria for about like two minutes, but we didn't make any progress there at all again we didn't learn anything new or anything <laughs> in that section um so uh like the you know the second half of the episode or the like i guess last third of the episode they weren't doing anything new but the first two thirds of the episode with the fight was awesome like it was really cool to see that fight i like the idea of them fighting on like non-even ground on like this super 
um, curved rooftop and they were just using like pure swordsmanship and they both respected each other in the fight. I think that's, I think it's really cool the idea in this universe that like swordsmen are incredibly respectful. Not all of them, I guess, but like probably a, a good point, like, you know, a lot of them that we've seen um, have been surprisingly respectful from one another. I mean, we've got Zoro, Kuina, um, Hawkeye, uh, Tashigi, um, and the, uh, Mr. One? Was it Mr. One or Mr. Two? I think it was Mr. One, right? Um, and now Ryuma, like, the, these, a lot of these characters that we're coming across that are swordsmen are, like, just, they are genuinely respectful of their opponent when they're dueling them, and I think it's really cool that that's, like, a consistent thing throughout the series, um, and it makes Zoro scenes, like, really badass. So, I liked that. Um, so he set his wound on fire. I wonder, is that a thing that Zoro can just do? Or is that, like, because he, like, salted... Like, my, my prediction was he salted his sword. And so that's how, like, you know, since then, like, you know, we have to beat these zombies and stuff and the main way is to get salt in their mouth, but he instead salted his sword and then got that through his, his stomach or whatever. Um, and that is, you know, went into his body. So he, so it set alive and then he died. Um, I don't know, but it was very cool. Um, nonetheless, no matter what, it was really cool. I liked the way in last episode, they made you think Zoro had lost. And then in this episode, they show that the outcome was actually like, yeah, they thought we thought he'd lost because we saw Zoro on the ground and Ryuma was standing up there and he was like on fire, which made it look like he had powered up, but he was actually on fire because he was dying. And I think that's really, that's a really cool subversion of that. Um, because I mean, we've seen Sanji when he is like on top of his game and he's doing really well, he's on fire, you know? So they showed the on fire, but they flipped it around to like what on fire actually means, which is, holy shit, I'm on fire, I'm dying. So I think that's really cool. Um, and, uh, and Brooke got a shadow back. I'm happy about that. It's funny, I thought the whole point of this uh, arc, not saga, people have corrected me. It's, it's only one arc, so it's not called a saga, it's called an arc. Um, but I thought the point of this arc was, uh, or a big part of it was going to be Brook having to fight Ryuma and get his shadow back. But no, it, the, Brook had nothing to do with it. Like, he just had to watch Zoro do it, um, which is interesting. But he didn't seem too disappointed about it, so I don't mind, you know? I, I thought if, like, he watched Zoro beat his own shadow, he would have felt inferior and sad about that but he was just happy to get his shadow back like a normal person would be so i'm happy about that anyway that's one piece episodes 360 to 362 i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like comment subscribe and go to my patreon account for full length early access and exclusive videos i'll see you next time guys goodbye